Hello and welcome to my tutorial on audio enhancement workflows inside of Final Cut Pro for beginners. The world of audio mixing and sound design can be very overwhelming to someone who's just getting started. So I wanted to make this short, easy beginners tutorial of a workflow that works really well inside of Final Cut Pro for just enhancing dialogue. Now we are going to be using some third party plugins for this, specifically those in the Era 5 bundle by Accusonus who is sponsoring this video. And we're doing that because Accusonus makes their plugins very easy to use and extremely approachable if you are a complete beginner. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the computer and get started. All right, so here we are inside of Final Cut Pro. Now I did record an example piece of audio for us to edit today. So let's go ahead and listen to that. This is the example audio we'll be working with today. We'll start by repairing the audio by declipping it then enhance the overall sound by evening out the volume and improving the tone. Okay, so already right off that sounded pretty good, but there's definitely some things that can be improved. The first thing we're gonna work on is declipping. Now, as you can see, there was this one section where I got really close to the microphone and the audio clipped. So to fix this, we're gonna use Accusonus's declipper plugin. Once you've installed your plugins, you can find that by opening up your effects panel on the right here and then scrolling down until you find the Accusonus category under audio. And here we can see the declipper effect, which I'll go ahead and drag onto my clip. To open up the controls of the plugin, just click this little control panel button on the right, and that'll bring up this window. Now, most of these plugins are pretty self-explanatory and easy to figure out, but if you're ever confused about what something does, you can click this little eye icon right here and hover over whatever you're confused about, and it will actually explain exactly what that does. But for our declipper plugin here, we're actually not gonna change anything except for changing the quality from standard to high. Now, this declipper plugin works by detecting when your audio has clipped, when you've lost information by it being too loud, and then by analyzing the surrounding audio regions, it can repair that clipped audio and make it sound like it wasn't clipped. And actually, it works pretty well. Now, like any plugin, it's gonna have its limits so if your entire audio is constantly clipping then of course it's not really going to make that sound normal but it works extremely well for repairing those little short clipping moments when you got too close to the microphone or talk too loud or something like that. Now the declipper plugin is pretty intensive on your computer's processor so I'd recommend once you get the settings the way you like it just go ahead and turning it off and waiting until you export to turn it back on. But here's a quick example of what our audio clip sounds like before and after using the declipper. We'll start by repairing the audio by declipping it We'll start by repairing the audio by declipping it. All right, now that we've finished repairing the audio clip, we wanna start doing our enhancement. And the first thing I'm gonna do is even out the overall volume. As you can see, during the last half of this clip, I started talking much quieter than the first part, and we can actually even out that volume by using the voice leveler plugin. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the processing up to around 70, just as a starting point. And let's go ahead and play our clip and look at the waveform to see exactly what it's doing. We'll start by repairing the audio by declipping it, then enhance the overall sound by evening out the volume and improving the tone. So you can see here it's detecting the lower volume sections of our clip, and then this yellow part is it increasing the volume of those parts of the audio region. So if we increase this processing all the way up to 100, we can see it'll increase those soft parts by a whole lot. By evening out the volume and improving the tone. So I'm gonna set this somewhere around 80%. I think that sounds good for this clip. So now if we look at our waveform of our clip here, we can see that those quieter parts have been raised in volume to match the level of everything else. And finally, the thing that's gonna make the biggest difference to our quality of sound is gonna be the Voice Auto EQ plugin. What this plugin will let us do is improve the tone of our audio dialogue by analyzing the dialogue and then adjusting how clear or dark we want it to sound. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean. So the first thing you are gonna to wanna to do is click this learn button right here. And once that's flashing, go ahead and play your audio clip on loop until that learn button stops flashing. As you can see, it has stopped flashing and we see a little check mark. That means the plugin has analyzed all the audio it needs. Now what we can do is move this dot toward air, body, or clarity, or a mix of all three to adjust the sound of our audio. I'm gonna go ahead and play through our clip while moving this around so you can hear the effect. This is the example audio we'll be working with today. We'll start by repairing the audio by declipping it, then enhance the overall sound by evening out the volume and improving the tone. So what you're gonna wanna do is let your audio play while moving this around until you find the place that you think sounds the best. And for me, right about there sounds good. And then once you've found that good spot, you can of course adjust the intensity to decide how intense you want the effect to be. And as with most audio effects, you're probably gonna want to take it to where you think sounds good and then pull it back just a little bit because you wanna avoid it sounding over-processed. All right, so with those three plugins applied, let's go ahead and listen to the before and after of how our audio clip sounds. This is the example audio we'll be working with today. We'll start by repairing the audio by declipping it, then enhance the overall sound by evening out the volume and improving the tone. 
I think that made a very big difference. And that's just using three plugins. So the sky's the limit here when it comes to dialogue enhancement with Accusonus's plugins. The Era 5 bundle includes everything we looked at today, as well as a reverb removal, plosive remover, de-esser, lots of great stuff. And I think the way they choose to format their plugins is very useful, especially to beginner, because it's really easy to hop in and learn about how they all work. Down below in the description, you'll find a link to Accusonus's website where you can pick up the Era 5 bundle, as well as the coupon code for 20% off your purchase, which lasts for one month starting today. And that is all I have for this tutorial. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned a thing or two. And also, if you have any questions about anything I talked about in this video, please let me know down in the comments below. I do my best to try to answer them. I'm Josiah. Thanks for watching.